Hi creators, so today we are in DaVinci Resolve 15 and we're going to use a MIDI keyboard to record sound directly into our soundtrack. Okay, so I just have a blank project open and I'm going to grab some media into our timeline. And so we just have this space scene and I'll kind of scrub through here so you can see that. And it has a black hole feature going through there. So I want to introduce some background music, um, some just some back background sounds to this, uh, to this clip. And so we're going to do that in the Fairlight tab. And so to use a MIDI keyboard, we need to set a few things up to get it working. So my background in music in, in my studio is Studio One is my main... Uh, digital audio workstation now. Um, I've used FL Studio and I've used a number of different older products as, as time has gone by, but I'm mainly using Studio One, but you can do a lot actually in DaVinci Resolve. So let's see how you get this set up. I'm just using a 49 key MIDI keyboard directly plugged into my USB. And so nothing special. It's just, it's an older oxygen actually keyboard. So uh, whatever you have with MIDI, as long as it's uh, in the last 15 or so years, should work. And so we need to do some things to set this up. And so we can see we have some options here in the mixer. And so I'm going to load an instrument. And so to do that, we can just click this effects here and choose a VST. And I'm going to go with, I'll just go with Omnisphere. And just give that a second to load up here. So Omnisphere can, can do quite a few things with, um, with background music and with a lot of different sounds. A lot of com composers use this, and so it's, it's a really good product for uh, soundtracks. And one of my favorite uh, producers for patches is The Unfinished, and so I'm going to use his uh, Pangea. And so there's a couple on here that are really nice. He's got some playable textures here. And so let's go with like this one right here. And I'll just audition that for you. And I'm up here in the top corner and, and most um, VST instruments are gonna have this. You're gonna select your channel. And so just select channel one. And so if we, we listen to this, get a nice nice background sound so I'll move this out of the way so it's doing nothing so when I'm playing this as you can see nothing's happening in my timeline and if I um, click record here again nothing's happening in my timeline so what we have to do is set a few things up first and so up here you can see there's inputs and there's there's some different options up here but what I like to do is go up here to the fair light menu option and we'll go through a few things here so there's the bus format and these are the buses that we have available we have uh, eight main buses these are sub buses auxiliary buses multi-track so uh, we have quite a few options but I'm just going to use the everything out of the main bus just to simplify this and you guys can go crazy with setting up buses and sub buses and and do all kinds of things but just to keep it simple for this video I'm going to just use the main bus and so we will close that down. And you can set bus assignments here. And so when we have a, other buses that we add in here, you'll have some different options and you can assign them to buses, sub buses, uh, et cetera. And so we don't need to do anything here because like I said, we're just using the main bus. And so here's what's very important. We need to go to patch input output and you can look at it this way or you can look at it in list view. And so we have inputs and we have audio outputs. So we're gonna just take the main out and we're going to take it into our track input. And so we need to select all these boxes and then hit patch. So that's set. I'll close this and I'll show you what happens. 
So if we go here so we can start the clip, I'm going to start recording, but you have to hit this record here on the audio one. And then it, it kind of highlights the, the track there. So we're going to hit record. Okay, so it's kind of interesting. You, you probably saw what was happening in the actual clip. You saw those, uh, those little MIDI spikes there, and you can see them here. And we, we actually captured a new audio clip here. And so we can audition that. Very nice. That's just what we played into our, our MIDI keyboard. And so if I try to play this back right here, it's going to hit the, the actual wave, and you're not going to hear anything. So we have to do a second step. Hopefully you didn't stop watching the video. You're still watching, so you know what to do next. Or you might be posting comments in the video right now, but that's okay. We'll get them answered for you. So the next step that you need to do is go back to the... Uh, and you could have done this initially, but I just wanted to walk you through all the steps. You need to go back through the patch input output. And so we're just going to do the track send. And then we're going to go right into the speakers. Or we could, we could go main return as well. So I'm going to patch that. We'll go ahead and test that now. So if we go here, now we can hear that. So if you make that adjustment, you can... Um, Get your soundtrack in there the way you want it. You can re-record that, delete these clips, as many clips as, or takes as you need to, and get your timing right. You can obviously do all of the other things that, that Fairlight will do. If you don't like your timing, you can slide things around. You can add additional effects. So there are a lot of effects built into um, Fairlight. And obviously I have a whole bunch that you, you probably aren't gonna have under my VST list. Um, and so, if we want to add some delay or other other things to that, I think that patch sounds really good. And like I said, um, the unfinished is awesome. And so those patches come right out of the box. They sound great. We can go ahead and add some additional, um, you know, if we want to add some delay. Probably not going to hear it very much on this track, but we can obviously do all those things right in here to the main um, track. And if we recorded separate clips here, individually, you can also add these, um, if we go to the effects library, we can drag and drop those on the, the actual individual clips as well, directly on there, left or right or both. And so there's a, there's a lot of flexibility on how you can use your Fairlight FX and your VST effects right into the actual clips or you can put them into the effects right on the channel um, so or you can put them right into the master bus so it's just like a, any other DAW that you use um, it, it's set up a little bit differently and it, getting used to the the actual connections between your instruments and everything else obviously takes a little time but it, it it's really good Hopefully you learned something with this, uh, with this tutorial on setting up your MIDI instruments in DaVinci Resolve 15. Take care, guys.